Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Beam, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do one of these executive $100 lineups. This is something that just comes in the shop a lot of times when we get a lot of barbers in the world that do a lot of lineups. So, you know, this is still one of the things that is very hard for a lot of barbers to get right. So after cutting the guy's hair, doing the taper, what I like to do is lead the front, not super low, but thinned out a little bit, and then I go in and use a spritz or a holding spray, something that basically locks the hair in that grabs the hair that allows me to brush and bring everything forward this is only a step for prepping everything for bringing everything forward closest to me so i know you know how far his hair truly stretches my next step one of the most important steps you ever dealing with a waiver or anybody with a smooth dark caesar or clean cut you always want to go over the top of the haircut you want to float over the top of it you want to knock all of the roach legs off and get everything down consistent that is super important y'all gotta take y'all time you gotta make sure that it's always tender love and care throughout these haircuts and have fun doing what you're doing man the difference between you and the regular barber in the world is the regular barber cuts hair in terms of you being an elite barber or trying to be an elite barber out there Paying attention to detail was what's gonna take you to the next level. So I go in, hit my vertical slants behind the ear. As you guys see, I'm folding the ear down. And once I get to the tip of the ear, I use the corner of my blade to work myself around that corner, giving myself a clean, clean, clean lineup. As you can see, Babyless is his head. The client has a decent, decent, decent texture of hair, and everything is just coming forward, you know? So, like, when you get clients with this type of texture of hair, the hair just basically lays down. I'm not saying that any other texture is wrong, but if it was super coily, um, then it wouldn't comply as much. I would have to comb and brush it as much, but because everything lays down, look at the frame out work. Verticals is nice behind the beard, clean like fire. This is clean, man. Y'all know me. You do one thing to one side, you do it to the other common denominator whatever you multiply that bottom by you multiply the top by and i just make it that efficient make those analogies with third and fourth grade math and that's just what it really is about like the making the complex things simple as possible and to everybody out there that's working that you know got friends family whatever it is stop expecting people to see your vision or your dream you just got to show them that's one thing that i learned before youtube i didn't have the intentions of being an influence i didn't have the intentions of shaking the world with my transformations or you know giving people life with my haircuts i just did it because i did it so whether you want to do a barber whether you want to go to school whether you want to do music whether you want to play basketball like whatever you want to do in the world like stop expecting people to see your dreams stop telling people your dreams because the most important thing is is keeping everything to yourself and doing it like you got so many debbie downers in the world who will bring that negative energy to what you doing and they almost make you not want to do what you destined to do and if you let somebody else's thoughts overpower you or where you want to be in terms of uh, life or what you want to chase, like, then you will always sit in that same pocket. Remember, misery loves company. And in this world that we live in, don't nobody else pay my bills. I'm a grown man. I got to pay my own bills. So the last thing I'm doing is worried about somebody else's opinion about the things that I'm chasing in life. Because if you do that forever be in the box and that's just a gem and i hope that y'all able to take that i'm pretty sure it's a lot of people on my page that's older than me that, that know that but like to all of my younger guys that's out there my younger women that's following me don't let nobody dictate where your dreams go so i'm just staying consistent as you guys can see i've been banging on my vertical bars and my slight c cups my client c cups isn't super strong but they clean 
next step is to go in using my color card, assisting it with the compressor and the color no drip black brown. I wanna hit this line up, I wanna give it some darkness to it, I wanna give it some pop, some flush, some flash. And y'all know how I give it up on my channel. Anytime I'm enhanced and I'm showing you guys how to add services, you could be a barber that's charging $35, $40 for regular haircuts. You add services like color or hot towel shades or massages, whatever you wanna add in terms of your services behind a chair is going to extend the amount of revenue in a ticket that you make behind a chair and it's also gonna give the clients more of a variety to pick from so understand and know like color ain't gotta be for you like y'all know me i've been doing color since i've been on youtube i'm not trying to sell nobody on color we got the number one selling color on the market in the barber industry we got the most innovative tools in tune 45 i'm not worried about selling something that's gonna sell itself every rip what i'm worried about is showing you guys how to add services efficiently and how to make more money behind this chair it's a difference between me and a regular barber i'm not the best barber in the world but i can guarantee you i clip six figures in three-fourths of the year with that being said there's an understanding to this thing if you want to be a six-figure barber you want to be somebody who can bring in that type of money you want to be somebody who can create that type of financial freedom for yourself you're going to add services to whatever that you're doing to extend how much you make behind that chair so i go in with some spritz i'm hitting the lineup with my blow dry up going in with my pencil now as you guys can see i got my compressor my color my pencils all of those are achievable and accessible on the tune 45 website i have my affiliate link somewhere in my description not even somewhere i'm putting it at the top of the description click the link you get a 10 or 15 percent discount code um that's automatically attached with that link if you want any of our products our pencil our fibers our our color, our color enhancement car, our beam team cordless compressor. If you want any of these things to, to help you out with your services or to be able to use these, then hit that affiliate link. Go ahead and purchase using um, my code and you'll get that 10 to 15% off each purchase. And uh, you guys will be able to get to it and get right at it. So as you guys can see, I'm just going in with my, my liners and I'm just tapping up this lineup and I'm just basically dispersing this pencil across the skin, creating that nice contrasted uh, clean look between the brownness of his skin the darkness of his hairline you know in the edge of his lineup is giving it that pop that flood that flash and this is my Kodak moment so y'all know we have fun here stretch the skin angle to raise at a 45 degree angle lean the client back and bring everything to the highest point when it come to this straight razor and the beard come on bro like come on bro I'm a different animal with this I just had so much fun. I just left this in regular speed for y'all. So y'all could really see like my motion and how I go. I don't just like dig in nobody's face. And I had somebody in my comment section last week say he was good on the straight razor because he thought I was removing layers of skin off a client's face. Like, what? That's, that's holding spray. Like if you really see it, if you remove a layer of skin with a straight razor, somebody will bleed like you, you you're penetrating the skin like you're not going to be able to just remove layers of skin and if you do and they're not bleeding like they doing some type of magic but to be honest like i take my time with everything that i do i'm super precise i'm super sharp and i stay in that bag for a reason because that's why i create my demand this is why clients come to me they feel like if they go to beam that they gonna get what I call precision and if I sell myself based on precision it's so many men in the world who want to be sharp who want to be clean who want they line them to be precise they like that Steve Harvey look and I always focused on that sharper image look because at the end of the day I've always been focused you know on giving people something that they can't get from the average barber you know it'd be so many people want to be well-rounded which is nothing wrong with that or they want to be you know people who got the best face nothing wrong with that or people with the best 
success lineups. Nothing wrong with that. Me personally, I like to be able to have a nice combination of both, but I do make sure that my lineup sticks out way more than my fade. Ain't nobody walking up to my clients telling them, hey, that's a nice taper. Like, it, they, I'm pretty sure it's happened before, but more people gonna walk up to my client and say, dang, like, who lines you up? And that's what I want. I want that eye popping moment. I want soon somebody step out. They're my walking advertisement. This is why I don't use business cards. My clients are my are my advertisement they are my business cards those are the people that do the advertising for me i don't tell them to go do it but the haircuts are so clean it's undeniable like when you see somebody this crispy you better speak up and say something and that's what it's about that's how i separate myself from everybody whether it's youtube whether it's not we got amazing barbers in this world but it's so it's only so many barbers that are really 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 precise like they got this thing that's called barbers eye right meaning you should be able to spot any hiccup throughout a haircut but in terms of precision this is not just experience this is not just barbers eye like i'm built this way everything in my life i always thought engineering wise everything is angles it's obtuses it's right angles you get what i mean like i see shapes in my head when i see a client who completely has no lineup i see the shape in my head like it's very hard to explain but i just see it like i just see it like that's why i'm able to freehand the beer you know how many people gotta go in they gotta touch the beer with the clippers to get themselves a rough draft then they gotta go clean that lineup i jump right into a beer with a straight razor because i seen the curve on that beer before it even happened first time client or not i could see the angles that's my gift you know god bless me with being able to see angles and and be able to crunch numbers before he ever gifted me to be able to cut ahead and that was it i just clashed the two worlds together and boom you get precision i'm telling y'all there's so many gifted people out in this world they just collide and they gifts with the wrong you know the wrong professions and at times your gift don't get a chance to shine you know everybody got that one gift you got some people in the world who don't believe it but everybody got that one thing that they super great at and no matter what anybody do they gonna forever be great at it have to capitalize if you mix it with a profession you're gonna go through the roof and that's what i did i mixed my mental with knowing geometry and these shapes and crunching numbers and angles and things of that nature and i applied it to using my using it throughout my haircuts and that's what allowed me to be able to score this efficient when it comes to barbering the bag is so much more different on this side of the earth and i promise you like i'm built for this like, I'm built for this. That's why I was able to walk away for it from, from, for a year and come back to it. Because I've been crunching numbers and doing geometry since I was 9 years old. I'm 28 years old now. Like, like that, that's 19 years for y'all. Like, I've been doing this my whole life since I was a shorty to a grown man. Like, and with that being said, chase them dreams, man. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing. Stay focused, stay locked in. In this imperfect world, y'all know how they give it up. Some clients come in looking crazy, but I offer my services in terms of these $100 lineups for my clients to get clean and quick for the first week, and let's give it up. Let's lock in. Y'all know what time it is. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag Glacier Gang. Hashtag Glass. We focus. We locked in. If you was able to make it through this video, I appreciate you to the fullest. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out and until next time and may god bless Alright bro, let me know what
Oh yeah.